What's pop? We are on kick. K-I-C-K dot com. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right here. If you do miss the live, this is where things uh, like highlights and videos that didn't make it to the main channel will be. Uh, don't forget we do got the merch. I just washed my shirt. It's almost sweater season in Florida, if you believe that. So I'm be cutting me a little sweater soon. We got the Patreon. We post five days a week, and we got the Discord. The link to that is all down in the description. Okay, okay. Are we at a minute yet? Hold on, we gotta wait. I don't know if y'all know that, but if YouTube, if you say something crazy in the first minute, demonetized. I like to practice. You feel me? Even though this is not monetized. Fentanyl in whole? In whole? Wow. Deadlier than heroin. Okay. If y'all don't know, fentanyl is a huge, huge, there's a huge thing for fentanyl here in America. That's what any rappers that die that took or unalive themselves on accident by taking drugs is normally cut with fentanyl. That's why they're, you know what I'm saying? It is just like, just like heroin. Yeah. But ten times stronger. Yeah, it's really strong. If I could go buy a bag of fentanyl right now, I'd be running to the house. In the last six months, I must have lost. Hold on now. <laughs> Hold on now. Wait a minute. Viewer discretion is advised. YouTube, I do not condone any of this. I am here for educational purposes and to further my knowledge. You know what I'm saying? On the things that are going around around the, around the world. I've got 12 to 14 friends on the fence and all. too dangerous. Everybody seems to be going over on it. I overdosed. I said, look, I'm never doing that again. The and next day I was bang right back at it. Do you know what I mean? Thumbnail. <laughs> My bad. What are we do? Fentanyl is taking the opioid epidemic to a new level of urgency. America is in the midst of declaring a state of national emergency in response to their current opioid crisis. See? One of the key drivers of this is a powerful synthetic painkiller called fentanyl. The substance has now been linked to a recent spike in overdoses on UK soil. The majority of these cases have been found in Yorkshire and the Humber. We travelled to Hull to meet those affected by this lethal drug. The Hull and back. On a scale of 1 to 10, heroin's a 2, and fentanyl's like an 11. It's like, it's like going from being slapped with a pillow to hit by a train, do you know what I mean? I reckon, I reckon we're just a small percentage of what, what it actually is. It'll be there and everywhere. It won't just be a small amount. Here now, and then it's gone. A heroin is a bit like being hit with a pillow. Fentanyl is like being hit by a train. I would not know, and we'll never know. That's tough. My dad passed away, and my nan passed away. My nan and granddad, like, they left me. They moved to Scarborough, so I've been on my own since. Why do you think they left? I don't know, to be honest. I was only a kid. I didn't really do much wrong. When you're a kid and you've got no rules, you, a lot of things what you shouldn't do or shouldn't have done, you start doing, do you know what I mean? And I don't know, it just gets worse from there. The National Crime Agency says that 60 people have died in the UK in the past eight months after taking the pain-killing drug fentanyl. It's 50 times more potent than heroin and is the drug that was linked to the death of the rock star Prince. About six months ago, uh, 
I actually come across it not looking for it and not realising, but I tried it and it, it, bl it blew my head off, to be fair. Like I said, it was just, it just so strong, honestly, just really, really strong. Quite recently, a lot of people think it's gone for good and think they can't find it, but it's like, I, I, I know where it's coming from and I know where it is and I also get it. Not, not everyone does anymore, Yo. but yeah, yeah, it, it's still there. Still out on the street? Yeah, definitely it's still on the street. It's definitely yeah. out there, yes. Still out there, yeah. yeah, definitely. 100%. I lost a lot of good mates to yeah, it. Yeah, it's not good. It's, it's dangerous. Say, seven or eight of my friends are dead already, so. Yeah, it's dangerous. If you watch seven, eight, nine, ten of your homies die from taking the same drug that you're taking, what motivates you to continue to take that one? Is it that, like, is it that good? Like, bro. Down out the game now. I have a lot of people asking for it. There's been more deaths since this year alone, end of December, up until now. And so were people worried when they first came in? I, I don't think there was. I think there was more excited than I was. And what were you excited about? That it was stronger. Those that were selling the fentanyl was doing a lot more business than the ones that were just selling the normal heroin. Do you think the dealers worry about killing people? Nah, they don't give a toss. They don't give a toss. As long as they're getting their money, they aren't bothered. And what's crazy, you know what I'm saying, the dealers, like, to keep people alive, there's a certain ratio that has to be, you know what I'm saying? But, you know... Some of them batches be coming out wrong, and unfortunately, people get unalive because of it. Back in February, I became aware of what I felt were an increased number of potential drug-related deaths. I'm talking about Probably America. In March, when we started getting some of the toxicology results coming back in, where these drugs, which were new to me, um, were getting named in the, the toxicology reports. Now, we're probably looking at a third, very crudely, about a third from those reported have come hey. back with fentanyl, car fentanyl. Salute. We'll go Appreciate on, it. Yeah. <coughs> Yo. Yo, it's only uh, Luke. Can I meet you for one of each? One of each? You for the double up? Does it look the same as heroin? Yeah, but slightly lighter. Like uh, a different colour brown, and it's got a slight red tint to it when you cook it up. That's fentanyl on this file. I used to smoke it like him, but once you try it the other way, then don't compare, it's not the same. What do you mean, the other way? Smoking, it's. Uh, more, it creeps up on you more as far as like it takes time to get your your buzz. Whereas injecting, it's instant straight away. So it's not that I've stopped caring, but I'm giving up and giving up a bit. Right, I think to myself at the end of the day, like if I want to, yeah, if I did die, then. Diluting it, diluting it with water. Yo. <laughs> I will not have to worry about anything anymore. Look at like, his I mindset. I understand what I do, but at the same time, I feel like I can't stop. I won't need any more for, say, six to 12 hours, so I'll... The lighter is for allegedly when you heat it up is to burn all the impurities off. Allegedly, I don't know. I'm just guessing. I won't rattle off, feel fine. Like the main buzz I'd say lasts about twenty minutes. If I'm prop you're proper smashed and you have like a big hit to uh, a couple of hours.
Damn. What <laughs> instantly got itchy? That's crazy. It feels itchy though. It feels itchy. Fentanyl is a CNS depressant. Essentially, what happens is that you get the respiratory depression, you get the sedation, you get the drowsiness. Uh, next thing you know, the color will begin to change. They turn blue. The blood. Why? Who wants to? But why? Pressure will begin to drop. The pulse will begin to drop. And they have difficulty breathing on their own and managing their own uh, cardiovascular system. So basically, when you take this, you're going to the, to the edge of death. Ain't no way, dog. You get people who, because of their length of years, they've been using drugs for so long and have developed high tolerance to whatever it is, it is that they're using regularly. They want that additional bars of something else. I still feel it, don't get me wrong, but it's like if that was heroin, I would have got like a tiny amount of that feeling and then like that that would have been it, do you know what I mean? So I ain't gonna lie, him doing that made me itchy. <laughs> Itching my beard this whole time. My God, Lee. I was an heroin addict and I went to score a bag of somebody. They never told it, uh, us that fentanyl was in it. We took it. I walked around the corner and I collapsed and my face hit the pavement. I nearly died. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Hey, listen. I was on the tri rail. The, the, the tri rail in Florida, it's like something that takes you across South Florida. Um, you know what I'm saying? And the first time I was on it, like, or the first time I was paying attention to outside, we're rolling, right? We're going. And I start seeing tents on the side of the train. Like, it's the highway and there's some, some land right here, like trees and like a little slope. And I start seeing tents. Like a bunch of tents, and I see tables and chairs and and like bikes, and I'm like, what is this? They had a whole little community out there. Like I I could have swore I seen the TV, a couch, all type of like. I'm like, yo, this is this is this is tough. House, my home. It's where I come and just get away from everyone and everything. Go to sleep, refresh me head. Get ready for the next day. So if it's windy, I usually come to my tent to smoke my gear. If you look up here, it's all my foil. It's everywhere. Go to sleep, smoke my drugs. That's all my tent's for. Going to get uh, heroin one day, and I, I bought that. I didn't know what it was. And after like six, seven times of buying it, I found out what it was. But it was just stronger than the heroin. Does exactly the same thing, but just more intense. So I just loved it. Yeah, there's loads of it in old stuff, but no one wants to put it out because obviously repercussions and that. It's not just like the police what people worry about about it. It's like say I saw your bag of fentanyl and your little brother went over, and they're gonna get family coming around kicking off and all. It's just. People don't want that on the toes anymore. I just tried it. Like I, I did like it at first, but then I did like me and Mike had an argument and we split up for a little while, didn't we? And I went to go get a bag from where I normally got it from, and I smoked a full bag to myself. And it you know what's crazy? I'm single, right? I'm single, but homeless people always gotta like they always in a relationship. How? 
I don't understand it. I ain't trying to be rude or nothing, but like homeless people are always in a relationship together. What does the struggle just bring them together? Like, I don't understand. Like, uh, all right. Did they become homeless together and then just stay a couple? Or did they did they meet at a homeless, like, Tinder event? I don't know what be going on, but they always is to they always wifed and they always locked in with somebody. That's that's crazy. I actually went blind five and I love it. They just put me off since then. It really scared me. You went blind for a half? I've never touched it since. I just went off so I was just smoking gear. Yeah, there's a difference, so that's why I smoked it for. It's a bit blind. I don't want to see this life. I don't want to see a lot of things. People think that, oh, it's all custody, this and that. It's not a life I want to live, but it's just a place I've got caught up in. OK, Mikey. There is a cohort of vulnerable drug users out there who on a daily basis will find funds from somewhere, go and buy drugs, take the drugs. And as we found recently, people are literally dying, taking what they've been taking. Excuse me, can I ask you a favour good night? Uh, like, I'm homeless on the street, yeah? I'm literally just trying to get some change together for some food. I don't suppose you can help me, could you please? Like, yeah, sure. Thank you. It's been a bit rough, you see. Uh, uh, been staying in a few doorways, but I've got myself a, a sleeping bag now, so I'm, I'm laughing. I just need to get a couple of quid together so I can go get some fenny and that. I can't ask you a favour, could I? Uh, I don't, I, I'm homeless on the street, yeah? Yeah. I'm literally just trying to get some change for something to eat. I don't suppose you can eat. I ain't got any money on me. Now we're aware of what's out there. We yeah, are asking more questions and we are trying to... Am I the only person that be feeling stressed out when homeless people ask me for money? Like, because, like, I'd really be wanting to give them money, right? But this is 2023. You get what I'm saying? You know where I'm going with this? Who carries money anymore? Like, literally. Who, like, I don't be carrying no money on me. And I, I be almost feeling bad, but then I be like... Feel bad? I don't feel bad, but I feel a little stressed out when people, like, I know what you come and approach me for, and the fact that I got to speak this out of my mouth again is crazy. It could just be me. But with our intelligence team, more to ask who's bringing these, these drugs in. When you look at routes into any more to ask aware of what's out there, we are asking more questions, and we are trying to work with our intelligence team more to ask who's bringing these, these drugs in. When you look at routes into any system now, when you look at, say, the World Wide Web, when you look at where Hull is placed and then the A63, M62, it's easy to come to. People have been going to areas of Hull where they felt they will get, in their view, the better quality drugs and refer to the strong stuff or the better gear. After a swift response from the National Crime Agency that resulted in a number of operations across the UK, the availability of fentanyl in Hull seemed to have dropped off considerably. Yo. Yes, done. Yes, Mac. In spite of this, Thank Luke you. was still able to find a dealer that could sell him the drug. You right? I don't know the original source, no, but like I said, there's three main people, three main people in Hull who were, who were doing it, who were getting it. It's like there's a, it's like there's a secret underworld going on. Do you know what I mean? And people don't, people don't see it. Who I'm, who I'm going to ring? They didn't have it, whereas they've got it now. Well, I just seen two payphones in this episode. Yo, easy. Tony, Ryan, can I meet you for one of each? Yeah, man, wait, same place, yeah? Yeah, all right, I'll be there in two minutes. Cheers, my man. Boom, sorted. Let's have a look, then. How far along are you now? Yeah. Mm. Well, so you don't know whether to buy or a guy yet, do you? No. no. What you want? Girl. Girl. Yes. I love a girl. Girl. Yeah, yeah. It's cute, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, man. Do you know what? Honestly, though, I'm, I'm proud of you and that. So next time you have the next scam photo oh, and it, it's a boy, <laughs> you'll have to show me what, yeah? Yeah, I will. Yeah, man. Yeah, just squeeze anyway. I'm going to chip, yeah? yeah. All right, I'll see you later. Yeah. Look after yourself. It's, it's, my little girl ain't, ain't, ain't going to want to have a dad who's... Come on. 
on gear and fentanyl and crack and it's fucking it's it's not not life for edge you know what i mean how, how can i set an example how can i set that was her standard, how can, how wait wait a minute that was his daughter how old is he I, did he say his age earlier that was bro had a kid at 10 or something how can i how can i be right for her i can't do you know what i mean i just i just can't be Listen, Dolly, right. Hi, yeah, not too bad, how are you? Bad. I've just won the lottery, you know? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah? What's going <laughs> on, Jay? Nice gear. You, you know it, guys. I'm at the track now. <laughs> All right, safe, no more. All right, safe, brother. Nice one. <laughs> get, my, get my shit now, so... Like, uh, give me two minutes. Oh, so okay. This corner. He said his girlfriend is pregnant, okay. I don't know quite a few addicts, yeah. Once again, he got a girlfriend. That's... What, injecting that, and really, every time they're injecting, really, they're just wanting to die, hoping that they go over, but it doesn't, so then they're out for the next day, they'll go see him again. It just comatizes you, throws you to the floor. And it could be six to eight hours if if you are right that to, like to come back round. It's ridiculous, twenty pounds. Imagine being like not in control of yourself for six to eight hours. Twenty pounds for that. How long is that gonna last? Well, it's gonna fuck me up instantly, but what was? What are you doing there? Putting it under my tongue. Because uh, obviously, class A is. If cop has stopped me and it's under my tongue, I can swallow it straight away. So it's gone. It's a regular occurrence these days, yeah. yeah. They, seem, they seem to be bashing the, the, the heroin with it. Sell that a lot better, do you yeah. know what I mean? But what it has been selling, so yeah, dangerous stuff. Yeah. Some people don't like it. Like, since it disappeared, everyone was like, Ooh. oh, fucking. I don't want it, I don't want it, because they seen what he was doing to people, but, like, I can't lie. I, I love this shit. And I mean, love it. This is my, one of my good friends, Terry. I went straight off with me on it. And I've been using 30 years. Yeah, not good. Yeah, everybody was going over on it. It's uh, that powerful. And apparently you only need 2% of a 10, of a 10 pound bag can send you over on it. That's how strong it is. He said he was using for 30 years, like he was proud of it. We've been aware of fentanyl largely because of what was happening in parts of Europe and in North America. When we first probably became aware of that in Public this country Health England. in around late March. Towards the end of April this year, we issued our, our alert to make the healthcare system aware of the situation and also drug treatment services. Yeah, I am fucking young like do you know what i mean i i fucking because there's not many people fucking well people call me a bird and there's not many bands who do it but why do you think there aren't that many bands that do it it's one of them through fear i suppose eventually yo every hey you know hey, I mean? hey like the, the, if you're watching this and you're thinking about doing any type of thing stay drug free drug free is the way to be you know what I'm saying? Drug free. It does, you know, it comes and goes, but personally, I try to keep away from it. Because I've, I've, I've been over on it before, and I know how dangerous it is. It's very dangerous stuff. How long have you known Luke for now? A nitty giving sound advice is crazy to me. He just gave some of the greatest that stay away from it. I look about, about a year and a half now. And have you seen him change much? Yeah, I've seen him change for the worst, really. I've told him as well, but like I say, it's so hard to get off, and it, the pull, the pull, and the addiction of it is, is so hard to break. It's like having a monkey on your shoulder twenty four seven, isn't it, Luke? Yeah. Fucking hell. Mm. You going? It was good. Couldn't bad sleep last night. 
Thank you for that, Terry. Right, mate. Thank you, mate. Do you feel better? Yeah, much better, mate. Thank you. Sit and have a smoke now. Did you see the hair? The heroin addict got a home. You know what I'm saying? The fentanyl addict, they be homeless. Come on, girl. Another day living the dream. Just off to the uh, hostel, go see if I can get my room sorted. It's like, oh boy, biting down. You see that, it? I thought I mean, my priority should be one thing, but your priorities go out the window. Do you know what I mean? And I know there's a lot of people that are addicted to it now, where they, they would only buy that with fentanyl in. And I look at them and I say, well, well, so basically they've got actually addicted to the fentanyl. They're not addicted to the heroin, they're addicted to the fentanyl. And I, I, there's, a, there's a good 10, 12 people who I know what just want the fentanyl now. Of it for so maybe a month or so, and heard of it. It seems to just disappear. It was like a batch come in that got sold. Once that got sold, it, it disappeared, and it's gone back to the. So I've been told it's gone back to the normal. Personally, I think whoever put the fentanyl on didn't realise what it was. Didn't realise what it was. What they was doing. knew what they was doing, buddy. I don't think I've heard about it for... They still know what they're doing. You just... It's going over your head. When you just said that to me, I understood exactly what was going on here. For over six weeks now. Yeah. It seems to have dried up. That's my experience. Um, I don't know whether they're using or not telling us, or is it just that it's no longer available for now? How come you're late for the hostel? It's my, my habit's got in the way. Are you worried about it coming back? Obviously. That would be the trend. You get periods when the batch comes in, people use them and then it dries up. And uh, then it comes back again. <laughs> you're missing a step, man. People put it out there, the F. They put it out there. It's very similar to H, but it's way stronger, right? We all followed that, right? You put the F out there. It's gone. You can't get it anymore. So what do you fall back on? H. Harder, though. Now you're coming back to H harder. You get, you got to buy more and more and more and more. So what did, what did putting F out there for a minute do? It drove the sale of H. Stop it. This is all a business move. This is a strategy. Come on now, don't let that go over your head, these strategies. And that's allegedly, of course. YouTube, I don't condone nothing like that. I wouldn't know nothing about that. I'm just, you know, see it, telling y'all what I see what I, what, and hear with my senses and things of that nature. I don't say again. You needed to have been here earlier to do the paperwork and everything. It's only my, I, I, I have to be here though, because it's like my finger address, my, my bail address, I, I have to be here. My, I'm, my, name, my name's Luke, my name's Luke. After six o'clock, we're dirt with people in. One of the concerns is also like how long your offending history actually is. Because uh, from what I can gather, your probation mic is clued in on like a fair amount of it. So you need to come back tomorrow and it's half after 10. Speak to the manager and then we can go from there, all right? Huh. Call up your boy, sleep in that tent. Uh, not so good. Right outside the door is crazy. You ain't even want to step off the property or nothing. I'm banned from most of the hostels because I rent arrears, a lot of fighting, etc. <laughs> hey, hey, why are you wilding? 
Feels like I'm, I'm always waiting for something. It's like a full-time job. Stop. Don't you ever, don't compare that. Feels like I'm, I'm always waiting for something. Full-time habit. It's like a full-time job. Having a, having an habit. It's like, you've got to get the money for it or you feel shit. Then you spend half your time running around trying to ring up. Then you spend half your time running around to get it. Then the rest of your time you spend trying to Boy, find wow. somewhere to do it, especially when you're homeless. I think it might make a comeback. Mm. I think, personally, I think people's just been quiet because so much has happened so quick with it. So they've all just panicked, so like, say a year, maybe two years. There's a market there for it, so I think it would come back. After spending two weeks in Hull, it became clear that the current batch of fentanyl had run out. But there were still fears from the authorities and the people that we talked to on the street that the problem could resurface at any time. I think we always need to remain vigilant and, and if it's not fentanyl, it could be something else. So we need to make sure that treatment services, that the harm reduction messages are right and that we're ready to respond if it comes back on a, on a larger scale. Does it ever get easier doing this week? No. Don't ever. It's fucking... Right. It's just a shame shit, different day, you know what I mean? Switch it up, though. I, I can never sleep on no concrete like this. <laughs> Cold concrete, man, that's tough, man. Hey, drug free is the way to be. If you do have a habit, call that hotline and get you some help, man. It don't make you less of a man or woman. It don't make you no less than anybody else. It just makes you human. We all fall down, but you, but what you need to do is get back up, man. The real test is getting back up. Good luck out there.